welcome back <laughs> i think i always say welcome back every time um yeah every video i say welcome back but truly welcome back so this was week 10 and um one, one pattern that i'm not sure you guys have noticed is that the weeks after project tend to be like the slow weeks because now we're learning the new the next technology and in this case we learned about python python and django it's called django i know last time i wasn't sure if it's Django or the Django, it's Django. And so throughout the week, we started learning about Python and learning the syntax and things like that and comparing it to JavaScript. So we are JavaScript masters, and I put that in quotes because we clearly haven't mastered it, but you know, we're, we're in a different spot than we were when we first started um, in unit one learning JavaScript. Um, so it's been very interesting because I had a little bit of experience with Python. I thought at one point I was going to switch to Python and like just learn Python and not touch JavaScript, but I saw how important it might be. So I would have, I told myself I'd rather learn the harder one or the one that isn't like Python's pretty much English, like written pretty much in English, like how you talk. So I thought that maybe I should just stick to JavaScript and React because at the time I was, I've learned now that I was kind of going about it wrong where I was trying to learn what needed to be learned for jobs when instead the mentality is supposed to be like you learn what you like you learn the technology on the things that you want to do so you know my instructor broke it down it was pretty much like if you want to be a front-end engineer go to some job postings for front-end engineers find the technology see the patterns like if they're saying that everybody has to like all the jobs are saying hey bootstrap and you know that's what you want to do then you obviously you need to learn bootstrap it'd be better if they pay you to learn it but if you can help yourself out now you know especially with bootstrap and those other like um frameworks those are nice because it makes your project look a lot nicer but i'm saying all that to say that go figure out what you want to do go look at those job descriptions and see the patterns and i'm sure most of them will probably say the same thing or similar things and then that's what you can pinpoint so i didn't go about it like that originally now i'm learning but to go back so with python i don't like it even though i've had it before i don't like it and the only reason why i say i don't like it is when you're still in the process of learning one language or like solidifying your knowledge in one language and then you go to python or any other language you know we're not there yet where it's like we have at least one where we're like i know this language like the back of my hand so not only are we learning python which is new it's like remembering the syntax, remembering how functions work, you know, with Python, it's a lot about indentation, things like that, that you don't have to think about with JavaScript. I've noticed that I'm confusing the two. I'm typing Python and I'm typing JavaScript. And I'm not really sure how to circumvent that. So I think I'm gonna maybe talk to my instructor and see if they maybe have some tips and tricks for me, but I'm confusing them. And it's even worse because I'm studying, I'm like trying to learn data structures and algorithms for the technical interviews and I'm learning it in JavaScript, but I have to learn Python for these next two weeks. And we're, I think, I'm not too sure, they haven't told us yet, but I'm assuming our project is going to be a Python Django project. So it's been a little bit of a struggle for me um, because it's like I'm doing two things at the same time and I don't think my JavaScript knowledge is 100% where it needs to be before I'm learning Python and Django. So if I could give you any advice, I would say really go back and like solidify the knowledge that you have. Like if you know you're gonna be learning Python, I think I'm a West Coast cohort. So apparently they pick based on your market. But since I, even though I live in Atlanta, because I'm in a West Coast based class, we're learning Python. But they told us that some of our peers and I looked at a lot of the East Coast classes and the East Coast classes, a lot of them are learning Ruby on Rails or Ruby. Ruby on Rails, I think is what it's called. Um, so take, keep that in mind when you're trying to pick what kind of cohort you want to do based on time. I know I've got an announcement. I have like subscriptions to Flatiron School just because I was considering them as an option before. And um, they're reopening their campuses soon. They're going to start rolling out. So you may not even have this option of like doing it online, but you can still keep that in mind of um well you'll have the option to keep it doing it online but like all the classes being online and all the cohorts i don't know how that works i don't know how that will work anymore but for now 
keep in mind of where you want to work. If you think you want to move, it may be better for you to do a West Coast cohort because I'm learning like Python because I guess it's popular on the West Coast and I'm open to moving. So I don't, I don't personally mind. Um, but that's not to say that you can't after the boot camp go back and teach yourself. So like for instance, I probably will if I'm looking at, if I decide I want to stay in Atlanta and I'm looking at a lot of jobs in Atlanta and a lot of jobs are saying Ruby on Rails, then I will learn Ruby on Rails. So it's not like I can't learn it. Um, but I would say all that to say, just keep those things in mind when you're thinking about doing the boot camp and you have an idea in mind, maybe try, start trying to think about what you want to do. I thought I was going to be a front end engineer. I thought that's what I was going to do. This is a full stack program. So we're learning front end and back end, but I thought I was going to be a front end engineer and I've been three months in this program or about to be three months in this program and I hate it. So I actually really enjoy back end. Like I really, I don't, I'm okay with not, um, I can do the design if I have to, but I don't want to, but I don't have to, you know? So like I was saying, keep this, all these things in mind when you're looking for a program. Um, and keep that in mind that you might struggle a little bit. I'm struggling right now with Python. A lot of my classmates like it. I do like it, but because I already bought like books and, um, coursework for JavaScript, I'm probably just going to stick to JavaScript for the coding interviews for now. If I feel like that's a mistake then I might, you know, switch it up, but it is becoming a challenge to learn another coding or programming language or another language on top of another one. When, I mean, in three months we're doing two. So keep those things in mind. It can be a little bit frustrating. I feel like I have to like go back to the basics and like write everything out. And I think how I'm going to try and how I'm going to try and circumvent that is I'm going to write everything down and like literally I'm just going to do a, a quick code Academy course, um, just to get the basics and compare it to my notes. And just, I think having it all in one place, I do have it in my iPad on my notability, but I just want it written in, in one place. So I, I've been spending the weekend doing that so that at least I have a quick reference for myself because I'm, I'm just, I'm confusing the two. So that's just me being honest and open and some of the challenges that I've faced during this, during this unit is that um, I did miss Friday, so I'm learning Django. All the lectures are recorded, so um, that's a good thing it's recorded and you get access to a YouTube channel. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that, but all our lectures are recorded. You have, it's on YouTube. Like we get access to the YouTube channel during our time in the program so we can go over the, um, anything that we've missed. So I'm learning because I missed class on Friday, so I'm learning Django um, by myself, so. I'll have any questions or anything. I don't really have anything else to add to this conversation regarding that because I'm still going through it myself, but apparently it's Python's version of express in our Mern stack. So that's what I've been told. Um, so we'll see how it goes and I'll see you guys next week by this next video. I'll know what my project will, you know, at this end of the week, it's another project. And I think, uh, not I think it's our final week so I'll have an idea of what kind of project we're gonna be doing it is a group project for us so it's gonna be very interesting but I'll be able to kind of talk a little bit more about now project week maybe Django and I'm not really sure what we're doing next week um, because they didn't give us a Trello so I don't really know what I'm gonna be doing next well not well yeah next week so we'll see how it goes but enjoy the rest of your week enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys next week